Welcome back everyone to Call to Arms, the second campaign mission here, Operation Buzzsaw. We gotta push through this village successfully. Uh, crossing that dam was huge and now US Marine and uh, Army Ranger forces are pushing up with Humvees in order to clear the way. It must be done, everyone. So we gotta get it. Uh, we gotta get it done to clear the way today. We have got uh, Marines and uh, Rangers here on the left side uh, defending the uh, convoy entrance here, and we've got some troops on the right side ready to rock as well. We're gonna go ahead and take the right side. According to intelligence, we know that there are uh, light enemy weapons here. We've got some fighters, obviously not so friendly with the uh, fire everyone's exchanging, and you can hear them uh, shooting at livestock in the background as well. Uh, very realistic stuff going on here. Uh, they do not want any U.S. support in this area, and uh, we're going to go ahead and make sure we can change that. We're going to push up with Marines and Rangers, mostly just to share uh, all the different weapon types here. You can see all the different weapons that they use, squad automatic weapon and the M39, that sort of thing, scars as well. So I just wanted to uh, kind of give a joint strike force in this mission to show you uh, close range, house-to-house -house combat, farm fields, such like that. Very um, rural, but very urban combat as well. You can just hear a lot of fire being exchanged up in, in the distance. We have three Humvees with 50 cals and a Mark, um, Mark 19 with us as well. So three 50 cal Humvees. This one will bring uh, these guys up. We're going to escort them up the road. Again, there could be AT weapons anywhere. There's militia everywhere. There uh, could be traps behind every corner. Oh, shit. And it looks like we've got a guy with a gun over here, so they immediately open fire on him. Let's go ahead and get into position to make sure that he doesn't cause any harm. We'll click, quickly move up here and uh, see if we can get into a position where we can engage him. Obviously, he's trying to shoot us but can't. He's a little too behind the wall. So let's go ahead and uh, blow his brains out with a nice grenade. There we go. Knocked him down. I think I see a set of legs behind this wall, too. We'll be playing without the minimap on. I did set up the mission, so thanks to everyone at twitch.tv forward slash rat pack for showing uh, me how to make these missions. And by the way, a new vehicle featured in this mission as well. Oh, that guy is down. That guy is down. He's down. Dave, he's down. Mark Perry, hello. Thank you. All right. So anyway, yeah. So it's Alpha. And I love it. What do you think about it so far? I'm really liking it. Uh, obviously, I figured out how to do the camos too, by the way, on the Humvees in the mission editor. So there are different uh, camo types, which means you can go into different terrain, including a uh, winter combat desert and uh, hopefully maybe some jungles. Um, who knows? Uh, it's the global revolutionary movement we're fighting. So obviously with the word global in their name, oh, it looks like we got some fire going on being exchanged over on that other side. Now, I'm assuming these militia troops are laying down behind every corner, and so we really need to be cautious moving up. But no matter what, we're going to take losses, and it's going to suck, and that is war, and that's what makes it so realistic. So we're going to continue to move up from cover to cover and try to spread out the best we can. we got to make sure everyone sticks with a buddy, though. Oh, shit. Oh, man. we got a guy right there. Man, why did that Humvee not spot that guy? Well, he sure spotted him now. Love those, uh, love those uh, fire effects, too, by the way. When a bullet hits the ground, really looks great. It, All right, let's go ahead and move up then. We'll uh, crawl through this um, farm field. Hopefully there's no enemy traps here. Yes, We've got our uh, heavy gunner with us, so if we can get him through, yes, uh, squad automatic weapon through, maybe to this wall here, we can watch this crossroads area here. And, uh, again, we're on the lookout for light mortars, technicals, yes, anything the enemy could find of use. Uh, maybe that also means livestock. I don't know. That's up to the uh, Marines and the uh, yes. Rangers to decide as they move along. Speaking of moving along, we're going to move this uh, Humvee along as well. Right about here. That's a good position to kind of keep watch over everybody as we push up. Let's go ahead and uh, move up on this right side. Ooh, I see a targeting reticle. Oh, look at that. Another guy hiding right there. Militia's waiting for us to cross by. They know we can't, they can't win a direct fight. Oh, shit. We got a guy over here too. Oh, never mind. Oh, that Marine, uh, or, yep, that Marine made a split-second decision to toss the grenade over there, uh, possibly saving the life of this uh, Ranger. Uh, no, looks like he's going to bleed out, unfortunately. Yes, so, uh, yep, no no, no uh, two ways about it. Uh, we also have an AN smoke grenade as well. So let's go ahead and move up and uh, claim some of our uh, goods off this guy, unfortunately. Oh, what the hell? He's still not dead. I thought we killed him. Well, we better kill him dead this time. There we go. Jesus, that guy. Horrible shot, that guy. Could have cost him his life. All right, let's go ahead and grab a... Looks like we also have a flashbangs with us. Whoa, friendly fire there, bro. He's uh, trying to get that guy out of there. Unfortunately, 50 cals can't destroy cover. So we're going to go ahead and just toss that grenade. And there we go. All right. So let's get this guy down. All right, again, the uh, 50 cal on this Humvee trying to pin the enemy down trying to keep their heads down, which is good, but it makes them a lot harder for us to detect. Yes, Let's go ahead and uh, move over this position, too. And I see another set of legs there. Hello, sir. How are you? 
Again, we're just uh, tossing grenades over these walls to make sure we can stay down, because obviously the enemy's everywhere. And we've got guys kind of standing up to try to engage them down the road. There we go. Good firefight here. Oh, yep, they're falling back. They're uh, instructed to uh, secure the uh, crossroads. Good position right here to be in. We can see a lot. That was a good position to move into. Maybe we should move our Humvee over this way as well. Holy shit, what the hell was that? Came from over here. Oh, we got mortars. We got mortars over there. All right, everybody, we're on. Get back to the Humvee. Oh, my God. All right, so that mortar round just came right in on top of that house and uh, blew the hell out of it. All right, we've clearly got to move up uh, away from the road then. Uh, they've got that road zeroed in. They're not going to let us uh, push through easily. They're ready to take down troop transports and whatever else might come their way. We'll go ahead and uh, strike them fast with the Humvee as soon as we can, but first we got to make sure there's no AT or any sort of traps over here. Uh, let's go ahead and look around. I don't see any troops, obviously, behind any sort of cover. They'll definitely be there. Let's go ahead and move our guys across. If they see us, they're going to turn those mortars. They probably still think we're going to come down the crossroads, so that's what they're preparing to defend. Let's go ahead and uh, back this Humvee up just a bit. And let's move along this road next to this house. Perfect place for cover. All right. Yes, so let's see. These guys are all getting grouped up now. It, see if we can get behind them. If we can get real close on those uh, mortars, they won't uh, they won't engage us. But we need to make sure we hold fire, or at least return fire. Let's get up uh, behind these rocks here. No opposition over here. They're all around the crossroads. Again, these are militiamen, so they're not as organized. They know how to work a mortar, and they know how to work a few automatic weapons and uh, some vehicles, and that's about it. So uh, we're, we've got a good advantage here with our uh, technology, our 50 cal and our Mark 19. Damn, we might need that Mark 19 in a minute or two. If uh, we don't succeed with this Jeep, try, try, or Humvee, try, try again. I'll call it a Jeep a million times, but don't you worry. Uh, I love this uh, joint tactical strike force thing going on here. It's really cool. It's almost like Fox Sound or something like that. So we've got uh, two squads here, two or rather two uh, groups of militiamen on these uh, mortars, and they're told to hold fire. You can see, you can hear guys walking all around. I don't see any other soldiers or anything like that, so that's good. I don't, I don't see any AT, so um, it's safe to assume that it's probably moved on or or very or much more close than we actually think. So let's go ahead and get into positions here to engage these weapons. We're going to have to, by the way, they can, uh, those mortars can basically fire at point blank range, so we just definitely want to make sure, there we go, look at that, synchronized grenade toss, fantastic, boom and boom, oh wow, that grenade actually got blown away, alright, I think we actually bent the mortar tubes as well, those have been taken out, so that's a mission objective complete, so we got, we can go ahead and move up, then uh, let's go ahead and get down, and uh, let's go ahead and continue to move up these streets, again, these guys could be anywhere, uh, definitely around the corner of uh, any street or on the other side of a wall, so we just need to be very cautious, I think what we could do is we'll move through this back alley here where this guy's running to, I don't know where he's going, wait a minute, what is this, oh, that is not good, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we've got ourselves a BTR, that's not good, that's a BTR 80A, I think, well, look at the cannon on that bitch. and he's aiming right at us, oh, shit, and they're on the look for us, oh, boy, all right, that's not good. We need to make sure we're out of the way of that thing. They're coming for us. Our guys are on return fire. This guy doesn't even know we're here. Let's go ahead and nade him real quick. Take that one. Oh, we ran quick. Wow, that guy's a fast runner. Those Adidas track pants are really paying off. I don't know where that other guy went. They're laying down across the farm field. They're on the lookout for us. We need to take out that BTR somehow. Maybe we could work the left side? Let's go ahead and try that. We'll go ahead and stay put here with these troops on this side. We'll put them on uh, return fire and uh, we'll try to secure this side of the crossroads. There we go. And uh, we'll keep a couple of our guys in the back so that way that BTR doesn't get uh, nosy and spot us with other troops. All right, on the right side, our advance has to stop until we come up with an idea to destroy that BTR. Unfortunately, we took out the mortars and uh, there are enemy troops running up all around everywhere. Oh, wait a minute. Let's make sure this guy uh, doesn't discover us. Oh shit, BTR's on, BTR's firing. Okay, that guy's down though. BTR was just firing its main uh, machine gun, not its uh, main gun or anything like that. All right, it's time to secure the left side of the village, so let's go back to where we started and let's grab ourselves a Mark 19. Hopefully we don't have uh, any sort of um, more dangerous weapons on the left side, so let's grab our same uh, Marine uh, Ranger squad and move up on the left side. Now there hasn't been any firing for a while, so we're probably safe to move up uh, 
just out in the open. Let's get to the next line of cover. No need to crawl through an open farm field like that. Let's get that Mark 19 up the street. And we'll drive this bad boy uh, manually. By the way, you hit Control WSD. You can drive a vehicle anywhere. Turret's got uh, 360 degrees of movement. Really cool. Love and call to arms. Yes, All right, let's move up to the next objective, next wall there, next set of cover. No good way to do it again. There's just, there's just okay ways. Oh, that guy. Okay, yep. All right. All right, grenade launcher. I think he's dead. Got some troops over here. Let's go ahead and open up on him. Trying to hit the other side there. There we go. Oh, we got some kills. Very good. There we go. That's a firefight right here. All right, good. So we pushed them back down the road a little bit. Let's move up on this left side then. I have a feeling they're starting to get low on morale and manpower. Obviously, when they see that a lot of their vehicles have been destroyed, their mortars have been destroyed, and they haven't really killed many of us, they're going to, while well, their morale is just going to plummet, they're not going to want to uh, come out and play anymore. So, oh, another guy down there. Guys uh, just kind of wandering out, wondering what's going on. They're not communicating too well. Let's hop this fence here if we can. Oh, let's just go around the long way. Whoop. Oh, yep, looks like we got guys at the house across the street. All right, let's push up there and see if we can uh, take them down. Looks like there's quite a few of them. I don't want to bring the Humvee too far back, but uh, I want to keep it away from the from the road and let the Marines and uh, Rangers try to deal with small contacts like that. So let's go ahead and just move this Humvee into this open area. Keep an eye on anything that might be moving out there. Better than being in an alleyway with an RPG about to strike you. All right, let's go ahead and move up. I'm not seeing anything too dangerous around. Okay, nothing here. Move out to that next side. Apparently they gotta go through this way to do it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we gotta get to this cover over here in order to have a decent cover to fight back. Okay. Not seeing too many guys around. Oh, except well, they're falling back, so that's good. Our Humvees can push up a little bit on the main road, but there's no need to do that, especially since we have that enemy unit spotted. Let's go ahead and push up a little bit with our Humvee, and we'll push up on that left side, hoping for no RPGs. Oh yeah, Marines and Rangers are doing a good job clearing out the village as best they can. Let's get into low cover here, dropping our elevation a bit. We can flank that BTR with uh, both of these vehicles if we get close enough. But that thing's got one mean auto cannon on it. All right, let's go ahead and push up with our guys. Very good. Push up to the wall here. Take that left side of your fire. Oh, yep, it was a friendly shooting down that way. All right, so we've got the right flank secure. We've got the crossroads secure. Well, basically. We may have uh, actually captured that area, so let's move up. Again, keep an eye out for any troops who might be laying down, but it looks like the guys on the left side have been on a little bit more of, of an offensive operation. I see some legs sticking out from the concrete barriers on the other side there, so let's get into cover. Take that, bitch. BTR is looking at us, but he's not shooting yet. He must not be able to see us. Come on, guys, get to the other side of the bridge. There we go. Oh, yeah, he's got his... Uh, Machine gun firing at us. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, move up on the left side. Alright, we got to be very careful with our vehicles here. It would be a secondary objective not to lose any of the vehicles. Got to keep everything on on the online so that way we can uh, keep it alive for future operations. Alright, let's go ahead and keep moving up. Right, so if we destroy this BTR, I'm assuming the enemy will lose all morale, but wait a minute, before we do that, they've got a 50 cal right here, the Cord 6P50 on that uh, APC there, damn. Well, APC is in technical, but... Alright, so if we move up any further with that Humvee, they're going to spot us and they're going to kill us. So we need to be real cautious on how we approach this situation. Let's go ahead and move up on the left with all of our men. And I don't think that... Uh, I don't think that uh, technical can target us from here, so let's go far left with our uh, with our uh, Humvee. Let's go ahead and just kind of back up a little bit. Looks like we got a firefight going. Enemies pushing up again. Random militia moving back and forth. 
Yeah, we definitely don't want to be in a firefight with a thousand random men. That would be bad. Alright, let's go ahead and push up on this left side now. With our vehicle. Humvee moving up, Mark 19. Pushing over those hay bales. Watch out for rocks, watch out for AT. Nothing we can do if we get hit. That's just the way it is. Alright, let's see here. Alright, we've got that truck right there. If we can get close, we might be able to come down this street, possibly come up behind that vehicle and destroy it. Meanwhile, militiamen are on the run everywhere, and uh, we got to get close enough to spike that thing. we got to cut its head off. Operation Buzzsaw. Alright, let's keep pushing up with our... Oh, hello. Is that an enemy? Yes, you are. Hello. Goodbye. Alright, enemy there is eliminated. He wasn't even paying attention to our vehicle. These militiamen are just crazy. We might, if we are lucky, be able to... Uh, oh, you know what? I bet if we cross that street, he's going to see us. It, Let's have one guy go across. Ran along. Go, man. Go, 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 man. Go. No, 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 no. Not the whole squad. Oh, you idiots. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Oh, you idiot. You're asking for trouble. Get down, you idiots. Oh, I don't want them linked to the cover. I just wanted them to lay down on the other side. We lost the guy there due to derpy AI. I was just trying to get him to lay behind the wall. Well, now we got him looking at us. I don't know what our range is to that enemy vehicle. And I don't know if I can squeeze between these rocks. There we go. Alright. We've got about... We've got about 60, 70 meters range to that vehicle. we got to hit him and we got to hit him hard and we got to do it first. Alright. Go! Okay, whoop, oh, okay, that was that was a test fire. That was a test fire, everybody. Tree in the way. Didn't expect trees. Damn it, that was there was nothing about this in the army manual. Alright, let's go ahead and try again. There we go. Take that bitch. That's the way to do it. Wow, huge fireball. Yeah, those guys, uh yeah, that's good payback for our unfortunate loss there with the squad lead. But uh hey, you shouldn't have stood up there. I, I wanted these guys just to lay behind the wall. And I wanted to uh, possibly toss a grenade, but uh, we definitely toss grenades, that's for sure. All right, we got our BTR here now. Oh, he's looking at us. Lay down, boys. Lay down. Just get down. All right, we got to get these guys away from the wall. Otherwise, they, they refuse to lay down. Oh, the BTR is still looking at the other guys. He's flanked. I don't know if he's out of fuel or having uh, mechanical difficulties. I don't know, but it's time to hit this guy in the flank. We've got a good distance to that vehicle. Oh, there we go, there we go. Yeah. Take that, bitch. Oh, my goodness. Liberty and justice. Beautiful. Wow, that explosion, man. That was a hell of a vehicle to destroy, by the way. He uh, was flanked on both sides. We were going to get him one way or another. All right, all right, all right. Jesus. These guys are so trigger happy. They're so excited. A little bit of vengeance from the, uh, from the for the fallen. So uh, we destroyed a 50 cal. We destroyed some mortars. I'd say this road is pretty much secure. Just going to go ahead and push up a little bit and uh, take out the rest of these guys who are uh, waiting around uh, for us. Un well, they're flanked, so I mean, they don't really have anywhere to go. There's 50 cals in front of them and uh, deadly marines and rangers behind them. So let's go ahead and get into some cover here and take them down. There we go. Stand up, boys. Take them down. Now those are marksmen firing, by the way, so they're uh, definitely a good shot. And I think after this last guy is killed, that'll be pretty much be GG. So there you go. There's a couple of guys left. Down to a few. I think we'll bring up the Humvees now. We're pretty much safe now to bring them up. And of course we want some, uh, some more troops would advance with them, but we pretty much cleared the way today, so... Just be on the lookout, head on a swivel, that kind of thing. You never know. Not too many fighters left. If anything, we cut them off and cut them down. Still a, a gunshot here and there. Ooh, wait a minute. Hello, you. Suicide bomber right there. That's what that was. All right. So that's it, everyone. The way is clear. We're going to go pick up our Marines and Rangers and collect our dead, and unfortunately, that is the uh, way of war. I don't know why the hell that guy was uh, driving in there like that. But uh, anyway, AI needs a little bit of work. It is an alpha. Thanks, you guys, for joining me for more Call to Arms. We've got a speed to our next objective.
So I'll see you guys there. Oh, that was the Marine shooting at the at the Rangers through jelly. Nah, it's just regular army, but anyway. So until next time, password pimp and strong. Stay tuned for more custom missions. Thanks for your support. And we'll see you guys. Bye. Let's load up, boys. Let's go.